Yo, what is up, YouTube? Sharp here, and I'm bringing you guys a Wirecast tutorial on what settings you should use and how to set it up. Now, I'm going to first off start by closing Wirecast. Um, don't save. And we're going to start out over here in the Black Magic Control Panel. Now, I don't really know how much about using an HTTP VR in streaming. I've never done that before. I use a Black Magic Intensity Pro, if you guys have saw my other set of videos. Uh, so these are going to be settings for that. I'm sure that most of these settings will probably work for the HTTP VR, but once again, I'm not sure. So these are going to want to be for your Blackmagic control panel. Now this is going to the set output is going to want to be the same for whether you're playing on Xbox or PlayStation. Uh, and then the only thing you have to change if you're playing on PlayStation, this is for Xbox HDMI video, HDMI audio. If you're playing on PlayStation, you want to switch it to uh, the Y, RY, BY, video, and analog RCA audio. Uh, but this is for Xbox. I'm playing on Xbox, so we're going to do that. Uh, set all this stuff up, how it looks. Hit OK. And then you're going to want to come into Blackmagic Media Express. Uh, now, when you come here, you're going to want to click on Capture. And for me, I'll see a video. You guys might not see a video. Uh, make sure you have your Xbox turned on, first of all. Uh, but if you don't see a video, then you're going to want to come over to Edit, Go to preferences. Make sure that this is set to what your Xbox is on. If your Xbox, if you're playing on 720p, uh, 59.94, then set it to you know that. I play on 1080i, 59.94. It's just whatever your Xbox and whatever your monitor can do. Uh, then do that. It's really up to you. They, you know, they're very similar. They don't really make that much of a difference. So you can do all that. So make sure that's the same. Hit OK. And then from there, it should show up the the picture right here. And once you have a picture, then you can just exit out of this, and that's how you know that your capture card is on and working. Uh, so then you go over into Wirecast. Now, Wirecast, you can get it. You can buy it from a website. Just Google Wirecast, and the website will show up. Or I'm sure you guys can find other ways that you can get Wirecast. Um, you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys know how to do that. So... I don't really know if you guys ask me like sites that you can pirate it from. Um, you know, I'm not sure because I didn't do it for myself. I actually had someone like remote desktop me and give me Wirecast and all that stuff. So don't really know how to do that. All I know is if you want to register it, you come over here to your preferences and go to register and type in the two serial numbers that you need. Uh, so yeah, you guys can do that. And but the main thing we want to talk about is when you first open up Wirecast, this is what you're going to see. It's just going to be a black screen, nothing. And this, what this black screen is, this is exactly what if you hit broadcast, what people are going to see on your stream. So with this black screen, you're going to want to add. Go to this little camera icon, add Intensity Pro underscore one shot, and then you'll see this. Now you want to click on it, and then your picture will show up. So. If I was to stream this right now, you wouldn't be able to hear my voice. All you'd be able to see is picture. If you guys want people to hear your voice, uh, hear what you're saying, then go over here to your microphone. And if you have, say, an Astro or I used to use microphone producer, like a USB mic, and plug it in. But now I just plug my Astros in, select Astros. And now you can talk. You'll be able to talk through, like, through your stream. They'll be able to hear your voice. And then yeah, and they'll be able to see picture, obviously. So, like I said, this little preview screen, anything that's on here, people can see the screen. They can see what's going on. Uh, you can also, if you want to stream your, your desktop, you launch Desktop Presenter. Um, you know, any of this stuff that you want to stream, you can stream. You can also add little, say if I want to have a graphics in the bottom left that said Sharp, I could add that. Or if you want to add a webcam, you could add that. I have a webcam, I just have not really taken the time to figure out how to set it all up. Uh, it seems like when I plug it in, it's really zoomed in. I need someone to help me figure out how to zoom it out. Uh, so then we part out because I don't want you guys. I when I first came in here, it was selected on my J.TV Justin.TV Sharp, and it showed you guys my stream ID. Uh, so right here, we're gonna put this in. So if the video is kind of fuzzy, then it's gonna, you know, it's whatever. So what you want to do, this is, this is what you guys are going to want to do. See, it saves mine up here, and all I have to do is start up Wirecast and hit Broadcast. That's how easy it is. It saves it. Uh, just all you have to do is you know start it up and broadcast once you get this all set up. 
So when you first come here and set this up, it's going to look like this. And what you're going to want to do is select the website that you're streaming to. Now, if you're streaming to Ustream, uh, you can do that. The only time I've ever streamed to Ustream is when MW3 was out, and I had it like a couple days early. I was streaming on there. Uh, but the majority of the people use Justin TV or Twitch TV. Uh, these are the same. Twitch TV and Justin TV are the same. So you, all you do is select Justin TV, type in your username, bobbity bobbity ba, and you go to generate RTMP, and it's going to ask you for your uh, Justin TV password. It'll link your whole account. Uh, so that's a good thing. And then to set up your settings, you're going to want to come here to this, and actually, oh, my screen's going to sleep on Xbox. You can like. You can create your own custom settings pretty much. So you just select uh, one of these. I guess do flash HD bandwidth. It uh, doesn't really matter. And then go to edit. And then these are going to be the settings that you're going to use. So this is my my preset right here. See how you just go to new and you can type it. You know whatever you want. Type in your own preset um, and do that. So now you're going to make your encoder H.264. Your width now. You guys always ask me when I stream it, why it says 432p+. plus. Now, the reason why I do that is because for some reason, my stream starts to skip a lot. Like, if I stream for, like, over a couple hours, then it'll just start skipping. Uh, I think that might be because usually when I stream now, it's because I'm playing in tournaments, and I'm playing in S&D tourneys. So I put a one-minute delay, and when you put a one-minute delay, it just kind of messes everything up. Um, and then, you know, it'll just... And it'll start skipping. So I put it on 432. I, f I find that my stream doesn't skip as much. Uh, and as far as the audio delay goes, you know, the lag that you get with audio, that's all Twitch TV. There's nothing you can really change in your settings. Uh, so if you want 720p plus, which you have to be a, a Twitch TV partner to get that. But if you are a Twitch TV partner and you can get that, then uh, just stream with the width 1280 and then the height 720. And that'll give you 720p. Um, but for me, 432 and with 764 looks the exact same as 720. So it's just whatever you guys find is uh, what you want to use. I don't know how to stream in 1080p. I think I haven't really ever seen anyone be able to stream in 1080. Uh, frames per second, 59.94, and my bitrate bitrate really goes by your internet connection. Now, if you want to check your internet speed, you want to go to speedtest.net. Uh, this is just a really easy way to check your internet and see what your bitrate should be. And I hope I'm not putting my IP on the screen. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, but So you see, I have a 52 download, but re what really matters is your upload speed. Download doesn't matter uh, as far as streaming goes. I mean, download does matter for other stuff, but as far as streaming goes... This is taking forever, so you know we're just gonna bring a wirecast and come back to that. So yeah, broadcast settings, and of course that stuff doesn't save. So the settings: 764, 432, or you could do 1280 by 720, 59.94. Bitrate, you go and do the uh, the speed test, and say I have a five upload, so. What most people do is they say recommend to use half of what your upload speed is. So I would say, you know, people would recommend me to use 2500. Uh, but 2000 works for me. It really just depends on what your upload speed is. So I'd say if you have like a 2 upload, you might want to do like a 500 bit rate. But to have good quality, you're going to need a good upload speed. So I would recommend upgrading your internet or, you know, do something to do that. Profile main, keyframe every 240 frames, channel stereo, target bitrate 96, sample rate 4,000, or just 44,100, whatever, 44,100, there you go. And then what you would do is save that, and it would create the preset. This would always be here. All you'd have to do is uh, exit this and then go to broadcast. Now, I'm not going to broadcast because I don't want to select my my preset and show you guys what my stream ID is so you guys could be able to go and stream to uh, my my channel that would be no good so you see we go here and this is taking forever I don't know why it's still on download speed but you guys get the point this is your upload speed you pretty much want uh, 
you know, say let's say you have a three upload speed, then you might want to run at one thousand or one thousand to fifteen hundred uh, bit rate. You guys understand? I know you get it. Uh, you see all these gamer tags here, uh, but that's pretty much it. I hope this helped you guys out uh, as far as streaming and setting it up. You guys have been wanting to see this for a while now. I don't really know what that does, but you guys have been wanting to see this for a while now, and I hope this helped you guys. So, yep, this is Sharp. Please give this video a like and a favorite if it helped you. Uh, you don't have to, but if it helped you, then do it. This is a nice little 11-minute video. Uh, if you guys want to know what I captured my screen with, by the way, it's called Camtasia Studio 7. They give you like a 30-day free trial. That's all I really needed to do. Sony, or, yeah, Sony Vegas. Uh, you know, setting up stream and all that stuff. So now I really don't need this anymore. So the 30 days were enough for me. Uh, so, yep, yeah, this is Sharp. I'm out. Mullet. Peace.